In this video, I'm going to share with you how to add to your table view two row action buttons like delete and share, for example, and how to uh, handle events when user taps on one of these buttons. And uh, we, in this particular example, we will display action sheet and then we will dismiss action sheet and we'll dismiss the um, uh, action buttons as well. And there's plenty of code that I will need to tap, uh, type uh, to implement this. Like I will need to implement table view and then I will need to make it conform to protocols to make um, data items load. And I will need to implement functions to enable, uh, to handle events when user, for example, taps on one of these rows um, and uh, to display the action sheet uh, itself. So um, not to type so much of code, I'll make use of my Swift developer blog.com. And here I have uh, in my um, code examples, I have plenty of examples ready to use available. So I will simply search for UI table view. And I have this particular example already ready, but I will not use it now. I will put this example again. Uh, piece by piece. So first I'll need to use table view controller uh, or table view. I'll create table view and will I will reuse view controller and make it conform to protocols uh, of uh, table view. So I'll click on this plus button and just copy and paste entire code into my um, into my um, entity project. And basically what it does, it's a uh, view controller and that view controller conforms to table view data source delegate and table view delegate and uh, we uh, instantiate table view and then we add it to, as a sub view to our view controller and we position it from edge to edge uh, like the um, we detect screen width and then we uh, make the width of our table view uh, equal to the width of the uh, screen and the height of the screen. And then we set delegates um, so that uh, we can implement functions that can load the data items and can listen to functions like, for example, did select row index path so that uh, we know that user selected a particular table row. So uh, if I run this example now, uh, it should uh, perfectly work and we have a table view and we have three items and if i swipe it on now if i swipe the row now to the left or right it doesn't work because we uh, did not overwrite one more function but table view is ready we don't have a navigation bar so we can either add it now uh, let's just do it i'll go to main storyboard select my view controller make it a little bit smaller of four inch for example and i will embed this into a navigation controller okay and i'll go back to um view controller run this example again and here i have my application my table view with the navigation bar and if I tap on uh, third or second option, the uh, did select rod index path gets triggered and everything is working. Okay, so now let's add the uh, table row action buttons. And to add table uh, row action buttons, we will need to go into UI table view delegate. And if I hold command button on my keyboard and then click on this table view delegate, um, I'll see the uh, all, all the functions that I can optionally overwrite in this protocol. And I will uh, scroll down a little bit uh, looking for the one that's called um, the one that's called um, did edit actions for raw index pass this one. So I'll copy this function and then go back to my view controller. And then um, right here below, I'll place it and add its body. So this function will uh, return two table view row actions and it's an array. So uh, we'll return an array and inside of array we will need to place the row action buttons. And um, 
uh, let's create a couple of them right now. So I will, um, um, no, let me create, let uh, share action, for example, equals to uh, a UI table view row action. And I will go for auto completion and hit enter. So we have style and uh, as a style for share action, I'll hit enter and I will choose uh, normal. And for title, I will choose um, share. And the handler is the code that uh, gets triggered when user taps on this button. So uh, we will make a uh, row action available to us and we'll make index path available to this block of code uh, when user taps on it. And inside of this block of code, we will simply print uh, for now that uh, share action button is stopped and we can um, we can access the table um, cell um, title that was uh, selected, for example, um, because we have index path and we can access the value of the row that user tapped. So we can refer to the items that, that are loaded in our table view. These are the three items here. It's an array of items and using the um, index path, we can access the item which was selected. And then we can add this share action to the array we are returning. And if we run this code right now, we will have uh, one action button, which is share. But let's copy this one and paste it here. And we will edit that to share. Share button and that we will make a default. We can actually delete all of this and just hit dot and then start typing and it will auto complete. So default uh, will have a red background color and we will change the title to delete. And then we will rename here in the print statement that delete action button is stopped. And we will delete the value. And here I put for, for share action button is stopped for uh, this element. Okay, and now we have share action. I mean, I will need to rename this to delete action. And also add this to an array that we are returning. Okay, so very good. So let's run this example now and see how it works. Okay, we have application up and running. And I will swipe um, uh, one of the uh, cells to the left and I have two action buttons, uh, delete and share. And the one delete is default, uh, which is red and the share is normal and by default it's gray. And I can tap on it and I see that the share action button for three is tapped. And if I hit delete, the um, block of code in the handler gets executed and it works well. Okay, so uh, I can change the background color of this uh, share of this action buttons. For example, let's change background color for the uh, share action and I will uh, refer to the object itself and then say background color equals UI color dot and that will be, for example, green color. Okay, so um, and if I run this example again, the share action button will be green. And what we want to, here we go, or up. So if I swipe it, now the share button has the green background. Okay. So the next, what we want to do is uh, when user taps on share action button, we want to display an action sheet with more options. For example, share via Facebook or share via email and uh, cancel to dismiss the action sheet. And I will place it inside of a separate function. So this is our action sheet. I mean, this is our um, share action button. So when user taps of it, on it, inside of it, we print the uh, string, but I will also, inside of it, I will call a function that I will, I'm going to define now, and that will be display. I'll call it display action sheet. And uh, I can pass some information to this function, for example, index row 
so that my display action sheet functions also knows which row was tapped and which row triggered this function. So let me copy this and uh, just below here I will define a new function with the name display action sheet and that function will accept uh, index path right like this and I'll add a body for this function and um, not to type the code to display uh, the action sheet I'll go back to my Swift developer block and then right above here I have uh, code examples for UI alert controller and one of them is action sheet example so I'll click on it and it will open action sheet which is a complete example including uh, the view controller I don't need everything from here so I'll open it and from view will appear functional copy code that is related to alert controller only so I'll copy this code and then go back to my uh, project and paste it here and this code creates UI alert controller and then it creates two buttons and then it adds those buttons action buttons to the alert controller and then it presents this alert controller to a user all we need to do is just um, rename those uh, titles a little bit so the first one uh, will be share via Facebook for example and the second will be not delete by but uh, share via email and the other one is cancel and I will rename the variables as well so that will be Facebook share and I will copy it and paste it here as well and that will be email share I'll copy it and place it here and cancel. So uh, let's see how it works now. Uh, I will stop this and run it again. Okay, uh, if I swipe uh, to the left and tap on share, I have an action sheet with um, three options. Share via email, share via I mean, Facebook, email and cancel. And the email has a, a red font color uh, and this is because of the style of the action it is currently set to destructive uh, we don't need it uh, to be red destructive I will choose default for this one as well uh, okay so if I run this example now I will have three options and all of them will have a blue text color so I'll swipe it share yeah share via email is now blue so on uh, the next example that I want to show you is how to dismiss uh, this action buttons um, programmatically when user taps on one of the options for example when we tap on cancel we want this slide back uh, and um, make the action buttons disappear and the way we do that is very simple let's for example add it inside of the cancel button so when user taps on cancel button we currently print uh, a string uh, but what we need to do we need to refer to table view uh, and I think it's called my table view the reason it's called my table view is because of here I create a table view object and I assign it to my table view variable so I'm um, referring to self my table view and then I need to call function which is called set editing and I will pass false and then true set editing false animated true and this the call to this function will make the action buttons disappear so let's run our code and see how it works now we have um, three items I swipe to the left call share tap on Facebook nothing happens and tap on cancel and the action buttons go away but I but the editing are uh, still on so I can do that again for any of the rows which is uh, very nice okay this is it for uh, this example and I hope it was helpful